everyone and welcome to Programming Kids. My name is Lynn and in today's video I'll be giving you guys an introduction to circles in Python. In our last videos we learned a lot about general information about programming language, Python, variables, facts, and um, we also learned how to draw plenty of graphics which I will link in the description box. And now it's time for you guys to get ready for your animations. Animation will probably have to be the best part about Python. Creating your like a model or just drawing a girl or a panda or whatever you want can be the best part and the most fun part. In order to do these, you have to learn basic shapes like square, circles, triangles and more. So in today's video, as you guys might know, we will be drawing circles and we will be going through three subheadings. First, a regular simple circle. You will fill it with two of your favorite colors. You will out outline it with one and fill it with one. Then we will create a tangent circle and three, we will create a spiral circle. So what are you waiting for? Go grab a notebook or a cup of tea and let's get started. First, I will be opening idle by searching it on my Polite search. I idle and press enter and it will automatically open. Then I'll be creating a new file by pressing file, new file. And here it is. This is where I'll be doing my file program. But first I have to name it just so I can identify easier. So I'll name it as simple circle dot py because this is what our first program or code will be. So we will be importing Turtle now. Importing Turtle is just the main mini program in Python for drawing, right? What it actually what actually happens is that when you import Turtle, Python or Idle opens the Python launcher, which is which just shows you the your code into real life. So let's import it. As you might tell, nothing is happening, and that's because we didn't run it. If you do it on the Python shell, it might happen faster, but on the uh, the Python file will help will just give you the flexibility to copy, paste, and do whatever you want on it. Okay, now we will be naming our turtle. If you want, you can go ahead and name your your turtle anything, but I will just stick with a T. So T is equal to turtle dot two and brackets oops oops okay and press enter if you try to run it right now you're going to have to save it and um i'll just save it on my desktop and i want to save it as circle and save and it saves over here so now that we pressed run, it automatically runs it. And this is turtle. And if you guys want to this turtle to be an actual graphical turtle, then make sure to comment that in the, in the comment section. And if you guys want to see it, then I'll be happy to make it. All you have to type is, uh, all you have to comment is make that video and I'll be happy to do that. Okay, now we will, uh, get started with the coloring and the circle drawing and everything. So first, I just want to pick a color for my um, just circle. So first I'll type t dot color and we will open the bracket, quotation marks and type your color. So I want Python to um, start like, um, I w I'm gonna choose two colors, one is pink and the next one, I want it to be like sky blue. I think that would be really cool. So I'll just type sky blue. And let's see how smart is Python. Do you think they'll get what is sky blue? What does it mean? Or do you think they'll give us an error? Let's see. Anyway, let's press enter. And then we will have to just um, choose a width for our circle. So I was thinking of five. You can try to make it as big as you want, but I think five for me would be good. So I'll just type five and press enter. Then we, I want my turtle now to begin coloring my circle. So 
I'll do that. I'll type t dot begin underscore fill and open the brackets. Then the reason that we put an underscore over here because begin fill is actually a variable and Python does not understand. Uh, won't understand what what is it if you don't put an underscore. If you want to know more about variables, make sure to check our video, which will be linked in the description box. And now I want to type my radius. So I was thinking maybe I could do 100. Maybe that would be good. Not too big, not too small. And we will end the fill over here because there's nothing more. And underscore fill, again, is a variable. And here we go. Now we're going to have to save it. So file, save, and now we can run it. Here we go. Wow, I love that color. Whoa, isn't that really cool, guys? I really love how the blue color is actually sky blue. This is how smart Python is. You can tell them the name of any color that you want and they'll make it for you. Hmm. How about we experiment a little bit more? What if I want the width to be hmm, 50 this time? And this circle um, radius, maybe like a 150? Hmm. Let's save and run. Save and run. Whoa. That is so cool. Don't you think so? This is really thick. This reminds me of a donut. If you make it maybe thicker, it might look like a donut. Let's try. So maybe make the width more like 150. No, maybe 100 actually. And save it. And run. Let's see. Oh, I love that pink color. Don't you think so? Wow, isn't that cool? Okay, now let's move on to our next padding, which will be a tangent circle. I'm really excited for this. So I'm just going to exit this and as you guys can see we can always come back to this because we saved it on our desktop you can open it and here it is and run it whenever you want it's time for us to move to the next program our next program will be a tangent circle so let's open idle again press enter and it will open and i'll be creating a new file and i'll name it so i think i'll name it um just tangent.py okay so hashtag tangent dot py and then I'll import the turtle and press enter again and name my turtle so I'll just name it as t because I'm just used to that and type turtle dot turtle and just open up the brackets and press enter then I'll start my loop so I'll just start put in 4x in range, I want the range to be 10, and x is unknown, okay? And add the colon just so we inform Python that this is over here, this is a loop, okay? And I will be typing t.circle. This is how much, how many times I want Python to repeat this, so 10. 10 times um, x, okay? And let's close the brackets, and here we go. Let's run it. First, we will save it. And I'll just save it on my desktop, just besides the first one, as tangent. Save it as tangent. And save. And here it is. Okay, let's run and let's see if this works. Whoa, that is really cool. There are multiple of circles forming, each with a different radius. Python is really smart. Whoa, this is pretty cool to me. Okay. This was such an easy code for um, the tangent. Tangent probably one of my favorites. It's short and it's easy and it's fun.
Let's move on to the next and final program. Now it's time for us to do the final program, which is Pyro Circle. Let's just search idle again and press enter, we'll open, and I'll have to create a new file and name it. So I'll just name it Spiral. Hashtag Spiral. And press dot py, okay? And we'll press enter and I'll import my turtle and name it. So I'll just name it again, just see it. Is equal to turtle dot turtle. Whoops. Oh, what's wrong with me? Okay, finally, turn them properly right now. And don't forget to put your brackets and press enter. Okay, now we will have to create a loop again and this time 4x in range. 100. So let's open the bracket. And oh, I wrote really wrong. Okay, 100. And close. Put your um, columns to tell Python this is a loop. And we will type t dot circle. Open the bracket. I want to type how many times I want Python to repeat. So I want it to repeat it 10 times. So 10 plus this time so the plus sign plus x there will put a comma because now i have to choose my angle and i just wanted to go for 45 i think 45 oh maybe maybe 65 that would be more interesting and let's press enter and nothing to fear off let's run this module but before we do that let's save it first so let's save it again on my desktop and just as spiral and save and let's run it the most interesting part it's drawing a circle a circle a circle that is really cool whoa i really love circles they make me Dizzy, but they're really fun. Wow. Isn't, don't you think that's cool? Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Oh. Well, guys, circles are really fun. And I'm pretty sure there will be more graphics coming up. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to be one of the first people to see my videos, then turn that notification bell on. And like this video if you love circles and you love coding. And I'll see you guys next time in Programming Kids. Keep programming. Bye!